All right, Pine Tree students, we wanted to take a little time today to tell you about the history of Pine Tree ISD. Pine Tree ISD is the second oldest school in the state of Texas. That means we've been educating kids in, in Pine Tree for longer than everybody else, except for one district. And it goes all the way back to 1847. Now, in 1847, a few years before that, the Castleberry family moved up from Shelby County and moved right out just outside my office over here close to the primary. The Cumberland Presbyterian Church still sits there and that was the church that was actually started by the um, Castleberry family. But back then in the 1840s, Jefferson, what about 30 minutes away from us, Jefferson was what almost like a seaport. People would bring their goods there and they would put them on a paddle wheel boat and they would take it down the bayou and through Cattle Lake and it would go all the way down to New Orleans. And so that was a place for people in Northeast Texas to bring their goods and sell their goods, just like they would do down in, in the Houston area at Galveston Bay and things like that. The only thing is this was a lot closer. And so that's where everybody brought their goods. Well, right here at Pine Tree, we set about a day's ride when you were in horse and buggy from Jefferson. So it was a good stop off point when you were traveling to Jefferson and when you were traveling back. Now the Castleberries picked this area because there was a really good spring. So you had fresh water all the time. And that was a good place to water livestock and to get water for, for families and things like that. So before long, this becomes a normal stopping point. And when you get people stopping by who are, who are bringing goods back and forth from Jefferson, what you start to see is you create a little economy and people start trading for services and goods. You know, I'll take care of your horses, you pay me this, that type of thing. And that's kind of what happened. And before long, you have a group of people that are staying here all the time to provide those services for those travelers and those people who are bringing their goods back and forth. And as they did that, they said, you know, we've got a, a group of people here. We've created kind of like a little community. We need a church. And so they started having church services under a great big pine tree right out here, right in between our building and the Presbyterian church that sits there today. And they started having church services. Well, they said, you know what, if we're gonna have church services, we need to have a school for our kids. And so they started holding classes underneath that great big pine tree. And that's where pine tree schools started. Before long, they built a, uh, a schoolhouse and then eventually another schoolhouse and Pine Tree slowly grew. But the name comes from having school underneath that large pine tree way back in 1847. Now, the amazing thing is, you know, we've got new technology and fancier buildings and vehicles and all computers and all kinds of things today. But the mission way back then and the mission today is the same. They wanted to make sure their kids were educated so that they could prosper as adults and build a better community. That's the same thing we want for you today. We want you to be educated so that you can prosper and be successful as an adult and help make this community and our state and our country an even better place. Hope you enjoyed the story.